Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. I am Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. And I'm sorry, I need to go without a camera this week. Monday, February 20th is our new moon. Nothing to see. The sun is quite active on this side. Uh, sunspots north and south of the solar equator. Uh, neat stuff to see. There was a picture in the news of sunspots uh, visible off of the... Um, uh, coast of San Francisco in the sunrise and you can see the sunspots with the naked eye. Pretty cool. Uh, looking at drought conditions, we are a little worse here in the south but a bunch of snow just hit the last couple of days so that will reverse. Nationally, uh, big relief continues in the west with severe drought all but vanishing. It's looking much nicer. Taking a look at the snowpack so far this season, clicking through into February, I think, or more, nope, too far. So we're still riding above normal. We got another good hit on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, so we will uh, continue to see that stay really good. Up to Wednesday, Longmont area got about an inch and a half of snow, six to eight inches, uh, kind of peak in Boulder. And Thursday, another inch or so came in up to Thursday morning. So, yeah, about two and a half inches. Fantastic. Uh, precipitation, last seven days, that storm was really central to the south, southwest of us. And you can see the huge amounts of water. Just great news uh, for severe weather. Big stuff moving through the east, but uh, nothing in the west at all. There was Wednesday's snow moving out. Lots of snow and mixed uh, freezing rain and bad stuff up in the Great Lakes in New England and then moving off the coast. Smoke is pretty good, very little in the nation anywhere. Our temperatures are really starting to rise on average 46 to 49 now, so sooner we're going to be expecting 50s. That looks great. 19 to 21 uh, for the uh, nighttime low. We'll be riding in the upper part of that for the, uh, about three or, four, three or four days and it gets cold and very unsettled next week. It's really hard to see what is going to come. The models are not um, agreeing at all. So highlights. Uh, this is Wednesday. This is the storm uh, at the beginning of the forecast period here. You can see the low was down here in the four corners and we were kind of far north of it so we, we didn't get the, the bulk of it. The moisture came wrapping around the low and gave uh, Colorado and Arizona and New Mexico some good snow. Tuesday is the next time something big comes in, right after the holiday. We have the northern branch troughs and a southern cutoff low, and there's some snow in the mountains in northeast Colorado. Not much. It looked like a big st storm at one point, but not after that. So, uh, next one after that is Wednesday p.m. There's a deep trough coming in. We just get a lot of west coast trough stuff. And little short waves like that might ripple through and kick off stuff and it just so it's a big storm strong low pretty far north uh, puts dry slot kind of on this side you can see all this dry air in here more and more snows for the west rain for the west just keeps on coming so let's put it into motion there goes the Wednesday there's the pronounced ridging that's coming in after that warming us almost to 60 we're gonna see really warm temperatures um, by the Sunday into Monday, you can see the trough in the w southwest and just general northwest flow over us. There's a ripple that goes by. There's another ripple going by. And then Wednesday into Thursday, this big trough digs in. Lots of jet stream uh, action right over Colorado. And then Ridge returns for the week uh, weekend after that. For temperatures, we have a fair amount of cold air now, uh, around right now, going into Friday. You can see it's sloshing off to the southeast, and except for the snowpack, the west starts warming up pretty nicely. Wherever the snow goes, you'll see the temperatures rise very rapid. There's that southwest storm with the cool air down in northern Mexico, and then a Arctic air up in Canada and pouring down across Montana. There's a strong cold front for the next week. Just how much it's going to do, we will have to find out. So looking at storms, there goes Wednesday into Thursday's storm. Very nice 
beautiful weekend. I mean, get out and hike. Get out and enjoy this. It's just going to be as good as you felt in quite a while. Uh, then we have the southwest storm there on Monday to Tuesday. You can see some snow does come into the mountains, maybe push us off onto the plains, but it's not a uh, showstopper or no day for school or anything. There's a Thursday storm, and yeah, snow definitely sweeps across northeast Colorado, and then things get nice after that. So over the next five days, a little bit of moisture still coming in, less than a quarter of an inch, an inch or so uh, with that storm as possible around um, Boulder and Fort Collins a little bit less. Going out 10 days, <laughs> actually a hole near Fort Collins and not much precipitation down I-25 to Denver and snows largely in the mountains. So starting out really cold, 27, then 30s, then 50s, and almost 60 on Monday before the storm moves in that evening, uh, giving us a chance of snow and precipitation. So Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader for local news and frequent weather updates. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.